Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Mob Psycho Season 2, Episode 6. So the last episode was quite comfortably the best episode of the series. In Definitely. My, in my opinion. I would agree. I think it was like movie quality. You know, at least the second half of it was. We kind of uh, finished up that little maybe two episode arc of KG Mogami, I think his name was. Something like that. But he's still around. He's like trapped in a bottle now and he's with Claw right yeah exactly one of the upper echelons ran off with him yeah that's which right which is concerning they're probably gonna make him their new leader or something yeah i wonder when claw's gonna make a proper return whether or not it's gonna be this season or you know season three in the last season i'm not entirely sure but the series is just like up in the air at the moment like we, we don't really have a an arc that we're following currently because that one just closed up uh, I'm hoping to see a little bit of Teru and Ritsu, personally. Yeah, we haven't seen them in ages. No. Well, Are not we... not a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've kind of been shown, but that's about it. No, it would be good to um, have them incorporated back into the series for sure. Yeah. But also, if you guys are interested in getting early access to these episodes, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below. Also, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. <laughs> So this is where Reagan learned his uh, shady ways. <laughs> maybe, maybe just. <laughs> Did he sleep in his office? Or is this his actual home? It was a flashback. No, no, no. Before I... Reagan started his business. No, 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 I know. What did it say there on the magazine? It was like it... Uh, had it become had... a millionaire? No, it had some like witch stone or something on there. Obviously gave him the idea of esperism. <laughs> right, there you go, mob. More than I can do. <laughs> that be... form. New record, let's go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> stronger his body is as well, the, the better. Yeah. <gasps> Celebration time. <laughs> These guys are the best. <laughs> oh no, he's going to get tossed too. Bit of English. Yeah. That was decent. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that. Look at him blush. <laughs> you think she likes him? Or what? are they just friends? friends. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. For him. No. Mob's busy. Yeah, this happens quite a bit, doesn't it? That sucks. You can tell he's so upset. Yeah, he was having such a good time, he doesn't want to let Reagan down. No. I personally think karaoke sucks, but. Me too, but I'm sure Mob wanted to go forward to it. Yeah. This guy is a legend. I love that guy. I yeah. don't even know his name. <laughs> He's not pleased. He's really not pleased. Yeah. 
らじゃないのかそれかまたデート詐欺か何かに引っかかったのかすぐ利用されるんだから成長しねえな。Now come on, Reagan! Oh dear. So mean. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. I was just being stern with him. He wasn't going to kill Reagan or anything. I know. This has done something to their relationship now. Yeah. Dimple's gonna spill the beans. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. <laughs> you know him well. Okay, we're gonna go back to the beginning. I think he was happy to just have someone with him. Yeah. Labor costs. He paid him like a dollar an hour. Yeah, but Reagan wasn't charging much to begin with. Oh, she's seeing him with friends. And then Reagan's all alone. Oh. Yeah, it is a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how rough the drawing was? Yeah. He was speaking about himself this whole time, Reagan. Mm, yeah. Dimple's going to be the mediator here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined him. This might be a silly question, but where does where does he actually work? He just rented out a room, just a random yeah. space. Is that yeah, like an office space? Okay, because it looked like he was sleeping in it, um, in the flashback before he could afford an actual place. Friend, Friend book. book. Wow. Yeah, you see, he's lonely. That that's sad. Oh, so what happened when it was someone else's birthday? With the Body Improvement Club. It's your mom. Uh, what was that? What did it say? Is a new job offer? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's... He wasn't in time, no, was he? No, 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 he wasn't. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm so sad for him. Oh shit, he used to come here a lot. Probably pre mob days. Mm. <laughs><笑><笑> Not doing anything on his birthday. He's going to get into some sort of trouble, I'm thinking. And Mob might need to save him. That's the vibe I'm getting. 
It's the anime vibe I'm getting. It's really? an inkling. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put any alcohol in it. Oh, Reagan. Oh. Even when he's most successful, like his business is at its, you know, best, mm. I guess. Oh shit! Okay, he's more motivated than ever. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, he's really going for it. <laughs> The, the player killer. <laughs> no, Reagan. Don't go near it. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, yeah, Reagan's leveled up. He's yeah. leveled up. He's actually... Oh, but he's oh, dead in the process. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. The bro of seasoning city. I love that. Okay, but he's sad, right? Oh shit, I did not expect this. No. <laughs> he doesn't seem too sad right now. This is a distraction for him. But they said he got over it. Oh, this dude. I saw him a couple of episodes ago. The big psychic meter? Yeah. That was weird. I think this guy can expose Reagan on TV, potentially. I don't know. No. I'm not sure. It'll ruin his business. Oh no! Oh no! No, Reagan will get out of it. Oh yeah, he kicked him. Oh shit, the jumping knee strike of, of destiny. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? So this little arc's going to be about Reagan. Um, yeah. It's not going to have a villain or anything like that. I kind of like that the show's taking a direction where it's honing in on its themes and, and all of that. Yeah. It looks like, which is pretty cool. It, do it doesn't need the villains and the fighting and all of that. I feel like a strong show is when you don't always have to stick to, like, the main plot, like having a villain, defeating it over yeah, and over yeah, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's cool that they're really focusing on Reagan. Um, yeah, it is. I mean, we really like Reagan as well, so... Him and Mob aren't in a great place. The thing is, like, he really does care about Mob, but he also is using him for more than one reason. He's like, Mob is Reagan's friend. Yeah. And very valuable employee. Almost a slave to some degree, but... Yeah. And even though Reagan has been a really, really good influence on him in certain ways, he also can't do that without... Bringing mob down. I think it's just the sense of like Reagan got all harsh and everything like that because he was really just trying to convince mob that what he's doing with Reagan is is better purely because or like more important purely because I think uh, Reagan is just scared of losing 
mob. Yeah. So he's scared of losing his friend. It seems like it's his only friend, really. I mean, we saw the... Well, we actually had a lot revealed about Reagan's life in that episode. He kind of has uh, acquaintances, I guess, at that bar. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, that's about it. Yeah, Reagan is going about it the wrong way. He's under the impression that he has to put down Mob and, like, bring down his confidence and self-esteem so that Mob always comes back to Reagan, right? Well, Whereas y- yeah, okay. I think the fact of the matter is once Reagan understands that this isn't going to fly by Mob anymore, Mob will still be his friend as long as Reagan decides to change his act and treat him with respect. Yeah, but it's also like Reagan is trying to bring Mob down to his level. He's seeing Mob improve himself in so many ways, but Reagan isn't. Yeah. And that's that's kind of where we saw um, Reagan do a lot of good work there. Like, he woke up that one morning, he's like, I'm changing or whatever. That was really cool to see. Yeah. Um, but now he's about to get exposed or something on TV, I'm pretty sure. Like, this dude's got uh, beef with Reagan after Reagan did the... Uh, yeah, imagine, like, ruining someone's career on live TV just because... He got kicked in the gut or whatever. Yeah. But under those circumstances, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, I do think that Mob's going to get involved uh, to some degree. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Um, I think it will set up for some wholesome moments because I'm sure the two characters will come together. I really liked their their little relationship, Mob and Reagan. Yeah. But you're right. There was some there was some strengthening to that relationship that that has been needed for a while because it wasn't it wasn't all uh, sunshine and daisies. Yeah, like. They're not completely themselves or upfront with each other or anything like that. You know, yeah. Mob never spoke up, even though Reagan would do some things that upset him, I guess, or put him out. Reagan hasn't always told Mob the truth about things. Reagan has kind of used Mob in, in different ways, like you were saying as well. So yeah. that relationship could have done with some improvement. I think it will. Everything Reagan was saying to Mob, it was as though Reagan was saying to himself. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point. That was the point of the episode, like... As soon as we saw Reagan go into that spiral and you see exactly what his life is like, I guess, outside the office. Mm. Yeah, you could definitely see that. Yeah, it Uh, can turn around. Yeah. I think Mob opening up about his feelings and speaking back to Reagan is a really good start because Mm. it's setting those boundaries, right? Again and again, he's told him, like, please, you need to give me more notice before you call me in. Mm -hmm. Um, And now Mob is calling him out. He's saying that. Not everything Reagan says is true, and he knows mm-hmm. that. Yeah. So once Reagan starts to respect that, the boundaries and and all of that, I think their relationship will be a lot better. It would be more authentic. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's good to see uh, Mob living his best life, though, in that episode, even though, like, it was tough to see Reagan in a state, in such a state. Um, it was nice to see Mob on the opposite end there, where Mob was... Uh, Having a good time. He was hanging out with friends. Yeah. He was hanging out with his brother. He was playing games. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was good for him to be away from the spirits and the powers and all of that stuff. I agree. And he can just live his normal sort of life, which yeah. is what he wanted. I think he's thriving in that normal teenage environment. You could just see on his face, he was just so happy to just be doing something as normal as having dinner with some friends for their birthdays. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, it really brought him a lot of joy. And, and this is good. There needs to be balance for him yeah i kind of like it also he's not just um working out with the body improvement club to improve his chances with subomi Mm -hmm. like you know he's doing it for other reasons too and it's uh they're good influence you need people like that like yeah they were bigging up everyone for their birthday they went out to the guys are so (laughs) cute man i just love them they're great they're a great addition to the to the show dimple dimple as well um I think Dimple was happy to see Mob, like he was talking about, he had this different like aura or something about him. He had this boldness, I think he said was the word. Yeah. I think Dimple is a, he's a good guy now. I think we can safely say he's on the, he's on the good side. He hasn't done anything bad or self-serving for a long time. So at the moment, yeah. Whether or not, see, if he had the power, I'm sure he probably would have by now. Well, that's the thing, right? It's yeah. what you do with your power as mob has shown us yeah he hasn't done anything bad and um that's a yeah, good lesson for dimple yeah Dimple has yeah had it taken away and he hasn't been able to which has changed him 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Mob has been the perfect influence for Dimple. Like Dimple has seen someone who's got all the powers but mm. wants to do the right thing. Yeah. It's cool how they're using Dimple's character to like mediate between the two. Oh, yeah, Reagan and Mob. Yeah, so like Dimple is sort of sandwiched between them, right? That's like letting him know. Well, he was mainly letting Reagan know how Mob was doing. Yeah, yeah, he's a way of um communicating to both the characters how yeah. how each of them are doing. Yeah, for sure. Uh what happened there with uh Reagan's mum that email? Yeah, I I saw some it said something like recruitment or something. We'll go back and have a look before the next episode, but and, Well, he's the animation on his face. Yeah. He said he, it all. He was like, I don't know. He wasn't best pleased or, by it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that sucks. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.